piece of ash. Um, those of you who know me know that I like working with ash. It's a very, very, very useful timber in the fact that we can do lots with it. We can turn a normal salad bowl. We can do texturing with it. We can do lining techniques like Mark was doing before. We can just work with it. It's a very versatile timber. Right. So first line of attack is going to be a, um, a long grind bowl gouge. This is, the, this is the half inch. Okay. Now, the thing about a long grind is it's people just think all they need to do is get this tool, grind a big long grind on it, turn the lathe on and graunch it into the wood. Okay? It's not quite as simple as that. A lot of people, they grind this grind on the tool, but they don't know why. Okay? Now, traditionally, we'd be a push cutting. Okay? So I'm going to show you a push cut. Push cut. So a push cut's quite straightforward. All we do is we lift in the cut and there we go, a nice bevel rubbing cut. So, by grinding our long grind on a tool, it still works as a traditional gouge. But now, we can do a push, a pull cut. Now, you notice I move the tool rest with the lathe running then. Very, very naughty. I've often wondered, you know, that, that there's a more important things to get worried about than that. So if anybody takes some um, issue with that, they can. Right, so, all I'm gonna do now is a pull cut there. So that's my pull, that's my push. And what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to combine the two. Now I know that all the women in the audience are sitting there thinking, a man doing two things at once, multitasking? It is going to happen, hopefully. But it's taken years of practice to be able to do two things at once, believe me. So what we're going to do, we're going to wind a bit of speed up. I've got to be a little bit careful because there is a little bit of a shake in this piece here. So hopefully it's going to stay together for at least the duration of the demo. Okay, so we're speeding the lathe up a little bit. And now, tool locked into my side, I'm going to be working back. And luckily we've got a big, powerful lathe. And we're almost, I wouldn't say forcing the wood off. It's really good that, having that TV because it's like somebody else doing it. Right, there. I'm going to get rid of it. And that's my push. Now, when I turn the lathe off, what I'm going to end up with is a really, really bad finish. Okay? So, big torn out grain there. If I bring that round, that's like shocking, isn't it? Look. And, and funny enough, it'll be the same on the other side because that's the end grain. Don't taste very nice either. So, I know that's going to happen, but it's not a problem at this stage because I've still got another, I don't know, maybe three quarters of an inch of material to remove off that, so it's not going to be a problem. So now what I'm going to do first is get my chucking point. So I'm going to, I'm going to define my chucking point. Okay. So once more, we're going to utilise a long grind bowl gouge. We'll do a little pull cut across there. And my flute's now pointing at what is, in effect, my 10 o'clock. Okay? In effect, that's your 2 o'clock. One little thing about bowl turning, and some of you may have heard me say this before. You know all this mod cons they've got here, all this camera and equipment and stuff like that? This is my dry whiteboard. Okay? I was going to write on all the screens around, but... So what we've got here, okay, is this is looking down the ends of two gouges. Okay, you've got that. Okay, that's my flute of the tool. One there, one there. Okay, you've all got that. Okay, one of these flutes is pointing at 10 o'clock. Agreed? Okay, I can see a few nodding heads. You're either asleep or you're agreeing. This one's pointing at 2 o'clock. Agreed? Okay, so when I present this tool, I'm going to present it either at 10 or 2. Right? Now remember this. If it goes bang, it's the other one. Okay? So you've got that. So bowl turning is, sim is that simple. If you're lucky, that's my only joke. So, this one's my one about 10 o'clock, and we're just working it back. So I'm going to give it a little bit more volume. Now, I prefer to do a little pull cut across there. I find that slightly more effective into the wood than I would a push cut, because the push cut, you're going to a slower speed, so it doesn't quite work as effectively. So now I've got rid of that torn out grain in the centre, so that's nice and true cut. 